नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्रणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई एस सी बैंगलोर एलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन फ्रॉम द पेपर दिस एम सी क्यू इज बेस्ड ऑन द चैप्टर करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स A metal whose temperature coefficient of resistivity is five times ten to the power negative four per degree Celsius is heated from one hundred degree Celsius to one thousand one hundred degree Celsius. By what factor does the mobility of the electrons in the metal change due to this change in temperature? Three by two root three by two root two two by three. Now to solve this particular problem. we are required to know the formula for the term called mobility okay so in the ncrd textbook they use the symbol mu not to be confused with permeability okay permeability is also denoted by mu but in this context we are going to use the letter mu to denote mobility by definition mobility is the ratio of the drift speed vt upon the electric field that exists in the conductor okay and if you apply the formula then this gets simplified to e tau by m what are e tau and m e is charge on electron m mass of electron so essentially these are universal constants okay so if we want the mobility or if we see that the mobility is changing it should be changing due to the change in the relaxation time tau okay relaxation time and how do we define it relaxation time relaxation time is that time which an electron on an average spends between two successive collisions with the metal ions right so we can draw the conclusion from this uh, analysis that mu the mobility of electrons is directly going to be proportional to the relaxation time tau okay relaxation time tau now in the problem they have given us the resistivity uh, values rather one value is given so let us assume that uh, resistivity rho 2 is what Uh, is the new value and rho one is the old value. So what is the formula? Rho two equal to rho one into bracket one plus alpha delta t, where alpha is the temperature coefficient of resistivity. Our usual formula, right? So what is rho one now? Uh, rho one is mm, oh okay they have not given rho one. Okay fine they have not given rho one. Anyways, so to calculate ratio rho two by rho one is equal to One plus alpha five times ten to the power negative four delta t one one zero zero minus hundred. So this will be a thousand or ten raised to three, right? So it will be five into ten raised to negative four plus three, so negative one. Or it will be five by ten half. So this will be one plus half or three by. Okay. Rho two by rho one, <coughs> excuse me. Rho two by rho one is equal to three by two. Clearly, the resistivity will be greater, right? Rho two by rho one is equal to three, and we know that for metals, <coughs> especially the con the resistivity actually increases with temperature. The conductivity decreases. Okay. Now, we need to combine the two results that we have obtained so far. Right. now let us recall two more formulae among them the first is the resistivity and the conductivity are inversely proportional or they are actually inverses of each other sorry they are inverses of each other so if rho denotes the electrical resistivity sigma goy is going to denote the electrical conductivity okay and do we know a formula for conductivity sigma 
Yes, we know the formula. What is sigma? N e squared tau by what are n? Okay, so what is n? Because we already specified everything else. Here n is the concentration. Okay, what is the, what is this concentration? This concentration is the number of charge carriers. In this case, electrons per unit volume. Okay, fine. Now, is it going to change? This is not like photoelectric effect where the electrons are going to come out. Okay, and it is also not like the case where inner electrons are going to they, they will jump and they become uh, valence electrons. No, so n is still going to be a constant even if we increase the temperature. Correct. So again, we get the direct relationship between conductivity and relaxation. By sigma is directly proportional to tau. Okay, and let, let us also remind this, uh, remind ourselves about this result from kinetic theory, that if we increase the temperature, then on an average, the RMS speed and the kinetic energy of the electrons increases. Okay, not uh, or the ideal gas atoms. Okay. But in this particular case also, we need to keep the same thing in mind. N is not going to change. N is still going to be a constant. Okay, when we increase the temperature, the effect is going to be on the relaxation time, not on any other parameter. Okay, at least we are not concerned about that. Okay, so now let's rewrite rho 2 by rho 1 as 3 by 2. Right, and what did we write here? the mobility is proportional to relaxation time okay fine uh, well after all we want basically the change in the mobility isn't it so let's start with that maybe yeah, okay let's start with that so mu directly proportional to tau then uh, tau directly proportional to sigma and sigma inversely proportional to rho okay so this tells us that mu will be inversely proportional to resistivity right a composition of functions so mu is going to be inversely proportional to rho resistant so if rho 2 by rho 1 is 3 by 2 what can we say about mu 2 by mu 1 this will actually be the reciprocal so that will be 2 by 3 okay so mu 2 will be 2 by 3 times mu okay mu 2 will be 2 by 3 times uh, mu now they're saying by what factor does the mobility of the electrons uh, in the metal change due to this change in temperature so actually the factor is uh, 1 by 3 because the new mobility is two-thirds the old mobility okay so the factor is actually 1 upon 3 but that is not there in the options so we have to think about it in this way we have to say okay the factor with which we should multiply the original mobility to get the new mobility is 2 by 3 therefore the correct option is d okay see this mcq has a lot of formulae first of all it required us to know the formula for mobility that's the first one mu equal to vd by e or e tau by m e and m were, were constant so we have to conclude that mobility is directly proportional to relaxation time that's the first number two most of us already knew this rho 2 is equal to rho 1 into 1 plus alpha delta t we substituted the values right we got it as 3 by 2 the ratio and we were expecting the ratio to be greater than 1 Number three, not exactly a formula. Conductivity is reciprocal of resistivity. All of us also know that. But number four is also a, cr a critical formula here, which basically says that conductivity also is directly proportional to relaxation time, assuming all other parameters as constants. In fact, the only other parameter is n. And as far as we don't change the metal, n is also going to remain constant. Okay, so that gave, that gave us another function, a linear function between sigma and t. And then what did we do? We started with what we had and we wrote down all the proportionality relationships. Therefore, we arrived finally at mu being 
directly inversely proportional to the resistivity and the rest was just simple equating the ratios okay fine so 57 option d